Welcome to a short video summary of the Denon AVR-X6300H AV receiver. You can read the full in-depth review via the link in the description or by clicking the info button at the top right of the screen. The X6300 sits near the top of Denon's current lineup and brings a number of new features, of which the main one is the inclusion of 11 channels of built-in amplification. That means you can run a full 7.1.4 speaker setup by using only the X6300 and without having to buy any additional amplification. The Denon supports Dolby Atmos and DTSX out of the box, and you can add Oro 3D for an optional fee. Also new this year is support for Denon's HEOS multi-room system. However, despite all these additional features and extra amplification, the X6300 only retails for £1,999. As we'd expect from a Denon, the design and construction is very good, with a thick metal front plate and an attractive brushed metal finish. Our review sample was black, but there's also a version available in premium silver. The layout is classic Denon, with a large source selection dial on the left hand side and an even larger volume dial on the right. In the middle there is a large, informative and easy to read display, and beneath that there is a drop down flap. Behind this flap you'll find an extensive selection of controls, which is useful if you don't have the remote to hand, along with some additional inputs and the connector for the setup microphone. The X6300 comes with a fairly large remote, which is well laid out, comfortable to hold, and intuitive to use. It has all the buttons you'll need to control the receiver, and our only complaint would be the lack of a backlight. Alternatively, you can also use Denon's excellent AVR app, which is available for both iOS and Android. At the rear of the majority of the connections, here you'll find plenty of legacy inputs, including a phono stage, as well as color-coded speaker terminals for all 11 channels of built-in amplification. You can run dual subwoofers, and there are 11 channel pre-outs as well, in case you decide to use separate power amps. There are also 7 HDMI inputs, and one more at the front, along with 3 HDMI outputs, one of which supports ARC. All of the HDMI inputs and the outputs are HDMI 2.0a, which means they support 4K, HDCP 2.2, and HDR. The X6300 also includes integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, with twin aerials at the rear. The receiver is feature-packed with support for Apple AirPlay, high-resolution file streaming, Spotify, Tidal and internet radio. There's also built-in AM and FM tuners and the receiver comes with aerials included. The addition of Denon's HEOS multi-room system is a major new feature this year, allowing you to create a new network or connect the X6300 to an existing one and then control the receiver and other connected HEOS devices using the HEOS app. The X6300 comes with its own Odyssey setup microphone and a handy cardboard stand in case you don't have a tripod of your own to use. The menu system is superbly designed, making it easy to follow and intuitive to use. Setting up the Denon couldn't have been easier, and the included Odyssey Multi-Q XT32 Rumicalization software proved very effective. As a result, the X6300 was a fantastic performer with both movies and music, delivering a wide front soundstage with good tonal balance and excellent steering of effects. Dialogue remained clear and focused, whilst the bass was well integrated, and the built-in amplification was responsive and powerful enough to drive all the speakers. The X6300's ability to run a full 7.2.4 configuration for both Dolby Atmos and DTSX is a big selling point, and it did a marvellous job of delivering both immersive audio formats. Overall, the Denon AVR X6300H is a really impressive AV receiver, and when you consider the performance, features, build quality and price, we have absolutely no hesitation in awarding an AV Forum's Best Buy badge. Thanks for watching.